I remember for the first Wembley Festival, the first time I met you, and that was in 1969, George. That's right, and I'll never forget. Um, you know, I was so thrilled to be in, in, at Wembley, yeah. the first international festival of country music. And I remember at the end of one of my songs, I got carried away and I said, England forever. <laughs> and I heard all these people booing up in the back. <laughs> and I asked Mervyn Kahn afterward, I said, why are all them people booing? He said, they're from Ireland, you know. <laughs> you might want to keep in mind, it's not just England or Scotland or Wales, it's Ireland that, uh, that comes to Wembley. And you always brought a lot of people to Wembley sure for that, did, yeah, sure from did. the very beginning. And of course, you do have the uh, Celtic connection. Your, your ancestors, I presume, would have come from probably Scotland. Yes, sir. Uh, the Hamilton clan originated in Scotland. This is part of a, of a Highland kilt outfit. Uh -huh. It's called an Argyle Highland outfit that I got in Glasgow. And, uh, and you're probably going to ask why I don't have a kilt on. The world is not ready for my knees, I'm telling you. And you know, you've seen me in a kill, so you know nobody wants to see that. Yeah, yeah. I remember there was it last year or the year before, the, uh, the um, American ambassador in Britain paid you a lovely tribute by hosting uh -huh. your 50th anniversary in the music business at his, uh, at his home in London. That was a nice occasion. And you came all the way from sure Ireland. Uh, Sandy Kelly was there, there, as a matter true. of fact, and Cliff Richard. Yeah. But most importantly, Roger Ryan was there, direct <laughs> from, uh, from Cork, Ireland. And it was a great thrill, and I'm always reminded of the time, you mentioned that international ambassador tag, yeah. always reminded of the time I was in Liverpool, which um, I guess is the capital of Ireland in England, right, Liverpool? Yeah. <laughs> I was in there, and, and a guy introduced me, and he got all mixed up, and I guess he was nervous, and he was trying to, to introduce me as the international ambassador of country music. And he said, uh, ladies and gentlemen, please make welcome the Amber National Imbecile of Country Music. <laughs> There's more truth than fiction there. <laughs> and of course, speaking about 50th anniversaries, uh -huh. your, of course, your, your, your upcoming 50th wedding anniversary, you and Tink are celebrating next years. week, is it? Yes, well, it's, uh, it's coming up uh, Saturday night. Yeah. Uh, the 7th of June will be our golden wedding anniversary. And our kids have organized a party in our hometown where we met, yeah. and where we uh, used to date when we were in high school. We were high school sweetheart, Winston Salem, North Carolina. They've organized a little dinner, and they've invited uh, our immediate family and the original uh, wedding party, the, uh -huh. the bridesmaids and the groomsmen. Of course, my father was my best man, but uh, my brother will be there representing him. And uh, the little ring bearers and the, uh, the flower girls, you know, the junior bridesmaids, they're all mothers now with grown children. So it's going to be really a lot of fun to see all the people that we were with 50 years ago at our wedding on June the 8th, 1958. May I, on behalf of all your friends, fans, not only in Ireland, but throughout the world, offer you our sincere congratulations. Well, thank you, Roger. I appreciate and, that. And, and you I, pass I, those on to Tink for us. I will, and I look forward to seeing you folks over there uh, real soon. I yeah. hope to be back in Ireland just as soon as possible. I love Just it. bring us up to date, uh, George, on, on, on current events, what's happening for you, both this week during fanfare uh -huh. and maybe throughout the coming months. Well, I'm headed down to Hank Williams' hometown uh, tonight, Georgiana, Alabama, and uh, they have the big Hank Williams fan club gathering and uh, memorial celebration this weekend. And tomorrow night, in the little theater where he used to sing when he was a teenager, when he was growing up, uh -huh. the Georgiana Theater, I'm doing a tribute to Luke the Drifter. The other side of Hank, Hank Williams, yeah. the gospel song. Will you so. be doing narrations for yes. that? Yes, yeah. we do. Uh, be careful of stones that you throw, men with broken hearts, a house of gold. And then we go on from there to our uh, golden wedding anniversary in Winston-Salem. Uh, by the way, I was backstage at the Opry the other night, and some of my fellow senior members of the Opry were talking about the good old days and how things have changed a yeah. lot in country music. And one of my friends there, I won't embarrass him by calling his name, he said, Hamilton, uh, we heard you've been married to the same woman for 50 years. I said, yeah, 50 years this, this week. And he said, 50 years with the same woman. You ain't no real country singer. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was pretty good. pretty good. I guess you're supposed to have several wives. I think so. Go to rehab. If you have any. And spend a few nights in jail, you know, <laughs> in order to qualify. <laughs> 
I think uh, it would be nice maybe if uh, we could go out and would you do one of the narrations for us? Oh yeah, the, sure. The, the, hang, the Luke the Drifter ones? Well, um, you know, it, they're a little bit lengthy and yeah. I have trouble remembering all of them, but I would like to do a brief narration as an expression of love and good wishes go. to the folks looking in yeah. over in Ireland. And throughout the world. This is and on the internet. All, all around the world. All That's around right. the world. Okay, worldwide. We're broad splattering around yeah. the world here. Okay, this is uh, my wish and my prayer to all you folks looking in here. May your life be filled with laughter. May you always have good health. May you live to hear your songs sung by George Hamilton the 12th. 